Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Spotlight Search on a Mac. I think it's the fastest way to get to programs and places um, on your Mac, and I use it all the time. Spotlight Search is super simple to use, but in the updated versions of Mac OS, the shortcut key for it might be kind of wonky. I'm, I'm not sure, but I kind of remember that. However, basically what I do is I use Command Spacebar. So it's just holding command and press the space bar, spotlight search is gonna pop up. Uh, and then I can start to type in anything. So if I wanna go system preferences, just start typing in system preferences. It comes up with the top hits, maybe some applications, suggestions, Wikipedia folders, et cetera, et cetera. So let's say I wanted to open up PowerPoint. I just start typing in PowerPoint and I can quickly hit enter on that and it's gonna open up Microsoft PowerPoint. I can go back to that if I wanna open, holy cow, we are breaking things here. If I go back to that, just command space bar, it has the last thing that I typed in, but I can also start typing in Premiere and I can open up Adobe Premiere. I can start typing in, um, maybe if I know there's a file on here somewhere, like, uh, I don't know, there's probably something named tutorial. It's gonna start to bring up all these different tutorial things, whether it's my tutorial recording folder or for Mobox Graphics, Illustrator, InDesign, all these things, even my tutorial thumbnails AI file. It finds all this stuff super quickly. I just think that if you know what you're trying to open up, it's so fast to use Spotlight Search to open that up. Now here's one little caveat. Um, in the updated versions of macOS, you'll notice we got a little Siri icon up here. I'm pretty sure that the shortcut key for Siri is to hold command and spacebar. So if I do that, holding, yep, Siri pops up and now it hears me talking and you can see it's uh, actually listening to me. Exit out of that, Siri. I don't want you there. All right, so I'm gonna go to system preferences. So system, ooh, see I typed it wrong. Let's get out of there. System preferences, just hit enter. It, it didn't even pop up yet, but it knows that, you know, with the fill in, what do, you, what do they call that? The uh, predictive text, uh, as soon as that pops up, you can hit enter and you can go to that place. So inside of here, if I go to keyboard and then I go to shortcuts, I should have spotlight on here. And underneath spotlight, you can see show spotlight search, that is command spacebar. I want that to be that shortcut. And then if I go back to Siri, if you're having any troubles with this, uh, Siri's shortcut is hold command space. You could change that to hold option space or, or any other customizable thing. Or you can just disable Siri if you don't want to use it, um, which I pretty much never do. But um, I, all you have to do is hold command and tap the space bar and spotlight, spotlight search will pop up. Whew. Okay, that's it. Super easy. Probably a longer tutorial than it needed to be. I use it all the time. I think you'll find it valuable. If you do, like this video. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.